Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan. I'm starting my video a little late today, because um, even though I woke up early, as usual, 6.30, no, actually it was like around 7-ish, uh, just, you know, I was thinking about, you know, my show, writing the story out, trying to relax a little bit, um, of course also handling uh, Crux, which wasn't much, but, you know, because of the time zone difference, you know, I think, all, assuming nothing goes wrong, it should, uh, 100 coins should be listed tomorrow on Crux, and I can already see that people are actually paying quite a lot of BTC pop for it, so uh, yeah, everything looks pretty good. Um, also, also yeah, and also I'm just thinking about, you know, because like Mitch is not going to be happy that I'm going to be creating a couple of new coins, but I mean, Mitch has always had problems with money, so you know, I've been trying my best to teach him because I've been through the exact same thing, but he just doesn't want to listen. So, you know, yeah, but so now that I can do the, all this on my own, essentially, because I can just hire everybody out, um, you know, I want to make sure we uh, have a stable, you know, I mean, I'm still obviously going to support these coins, uh, unless I guess maybe Mitch makes me so angry, but um, I mean, the problem is, as always, the price just keeps going down and people want stability, so... Yeah, but that's basically why I'm doing all this. And then yeah, I, fi I finally found a good WordPress theme, so this looks really nice. It's a very simple site, and I'm running <laughs> I'm running ads on it because I want to get back the uh, money for for the hosting fees and stuff. Ideally, also make a little profit too, so I can use it to like you know further projects or whatever. So yeah, I redid this. So I finally found a good website theme for WordPress, and yeah, it looks really nice. So yeah, very happy about that. Very happy about that. Um, so that's that. Um, then I was also spending like an hour watching the Dark Knight Rises where Batman or Christian Bill like just, you know, jumps without the rope. When I first saw that scene, I actually didn't really feel much because I just didn't understand what was going on. Because it was in the IMAX and it was crowded theater and there was so much going on, like I just couldn't, you know, whatever. But now that I'm a lot older, and now that I have a chance, have a chance to just watch all the scenes that I want repeatedly, I can actually really understand like the genius of the film, you know. So like I now real, and then because of that, I was also just thinking about how I want to change certain key critical moments um, in my story, and I basically figured it out. So it's gonna it's gonna be a nice payoff in my in my show, uh, whenever we get to it. So you know, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Uh, all right. So anyway, uh, everything looks to be pretty good, and there is something I do want to look at too. So I want to make sure I don't forget. Um, I'm gonna set it right now. So I think one year would be good enough. So, uh, but we'll get to that point when we get there. So first things first. Bitcoin searches have increased to 17, or maybe it was that 19 yesterday. I don't know, but it's still kind of high relative to the bottom low. Um, obviously, it could still be higher, but you know, uh, we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. Bitcoin down 61.1%. 24 hour volume is kind of moderate at 88.4 billion. Bitcoin has continued to skyrocket, and that's at 11,865. So it's going to try to head towards 12K again. Let's see if it you know, pops. Uh, Litecoin's at 59.44, so it's not going up as much as I'd like. So there's still like a lot of doubt. There's still like you know some fear or whatever. Something's holding people back. Uh, but for the most part, people do want crypto. Dogecoin is at 442 million market cap, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, let's see. Um, Evans at. Oh, yeah, I was just thinking about EverQuest for some reason. I've been kind of wanting to play that game. The thing is, there's just not really much to. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, stocks steady after new jobless claims approved to pandemic era low. So that's actually pretty good. Actually, I don't want to read the whole thing. I just want to know what the numbers are. Um, oh, sure. Okay. Uh, at, they added 167k jobs in July where 1.2 million had been expected. Okay. So unemployment is now down to 1.19 million. That's way too high. That's still way too high. Like the guy that sh shot up the place with an AK-47 and miraculously no one died. So I have to assume he deliberately did not aim to kill, but just to intimidate or hurt. He lost his job and fell into coronavirus. That's why you're not hearing anything more about it, right? 
So this this lockdown bullshit is having the exact intended evil effect, which is to ruin uh, ruin people, uh, specifically white people, but it really affects everybody. Um, so uh, yeah, it's like it's like you know, hopefully someday we'll put all these rat bastards in the government you know, on trial for treason. Well, that's the other thing too. I was actually looking up uh, God's Wrath because I forgot it was mentioned somewhere. I think I was because I was also, I'm also watching Jesse Lee Peterson videos. Uh, and it was kind of interesting because, or maybe it was the leader of the Gorpor Uprising, but I got curious. Something was made me curious that specifically talked about the wrath of God. So I actually looked it up online yesterday, and it turns out that, you know, even in the Old Testament, where I always just thought there was just a lot of God's anger and wrath, of which there was a lot, it actually turns out that in the Old and New Testament, you know, love, redemption, uh, forgiveness, and, you know, all those, all those nice little good things. It was mentioned like 1,422 times in the New Testament and a lot more. And then like stuff about God's wrath was only like 60 or 100 times or 62. So there was clearly a focus on, you know, uh, you want to po uh, focus on the positive aspects or the, you know, the good stuff rather than the, uh, the, rather than the bad stuff. That's kind of like that in real life too. You focus too much on the negative, right? Just like the glass half full and half empty thing. Yeah, you'll notice that, yeah, you'll start struggling. Uh, but if you start focusing on the solutions, the positive stuff, then you can actually make something of yourself, right? That's how I got to where I, that's a big reason why I got to where I am today, right? Especially when it comes to money. And it's just very hard to tell, uh, teach people that. But yeah, um, no, but yeah, it all makes sense. It all makes perfect sense to me now. So, which would also explain why I don't seem to have as many, like, the problems I have seem to be a lot more manageable than, like, in the past, right? Because there was a problem with my, you know, my mindset and, you know, what was in, you know, what was in here, you know? So, uh, so yeah, so, you gotta, so, you know, you just gotta get right with God and then, you know, you'll figure everything else out, essentially. Assuming you're actually honest about it, too, because that's the other um, requirement. Trump order, executive order to boost U.S. drug manufacturing. Okay, so it looks like today's a neutral day, Australia. Yeah, I don't really see anything here. Um, I'm going to refresh this one more time, but yeah, I think this is the, the thing. Yeah. And of course, you know, they're going to be, uh, I'm really not going to, I'm not really thrilled about this vaccine crap. It's like they're already forcing everybody. Like this is this is definitely Mark of the Beast level uh, evil stuff. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to hope that uh, Trump can um, come in your election. All right. So let's see. So before coronavirus uh, completely screwed everything up, or rather the globalists did, the market high was twenty nine thousand three forty eight. So the stock market's getting close to what it was before. And then, but I mean, fundamentally, like a lot of people are still out of jobs and they're not getting their shit back. So, I mean, that really tells you a lot about this, you know, fake crap. I mean, it's not even fake. What's, you know, what it is is just like people are just not worth anything, right? I mean, that's basically what the stock market is saying. So, I mean, it, it really goes to show that, yeah, you can't really rely on a job. You, you got to go do your own thing. Uh, it's it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. And here's it. Oh yeah, and Rebel's doing pretty well. Uh, let's see. Yeah, four dollars and five cents. So it's already going back up. So I'll get. So I'm gonna make back all my losses in the stock market plus a lot of extra profit. So it's gonna be good. I, I said that before. So now, now at this point, it's just a waiting game. And it's a formality. JFC coins at six to seven still. So pretty quiet. Also, we're getting close to the weekend. So trade volume always dies towards the weekend. Uh, 404 is at 90 to 92. Um, yeah, look, I mean, now that crypto is going back up. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't expect these prices to go up. Two by two is at 38 to 41. It's a pretty massive uh, thing. Because uh, it has recovered a bit from like, you know, getting dumped too much, but Rix is at 70 to 79, so yeah. This is another thing I've been trying to talk to Mitch about too. Like he's pouring everything into Rix and look at the result. You know, I even told him to just sell some, which he apparently did not do. So now he lost all the uh, free money that he could have had if he just simply took my advice and just sold. The reason why I can't do that is because I don't have that many Rix. Right? 
you know, and then, you know, Mitch wants to, like, bother me about starting new projects. Why do you think I want to start new projects, right? Because we need to diversify against this shit, right? Because, and he's like, oh, you got to do more marketing. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to tell, I'm going to start marketing coins and then tell people to buy something that's going to lose 75% of their value within a month or two. Uh, and then he wonders why nobody wants to buy our fucking coins. It's like, you know, like, it's, it's just frustrating. So anyway, I already know what to do. I'm in charge of everything now. I have full control over the new cryptos, and it's going to be done properly. All right? Or at least we're going to experiment and see if it can be done properly. All right? I mean, mathematically, it should 100 coin should work because it's just a flat 100 coins. And even though it's supposed to be once every every minute, because of the because of the way the difficulty and the lack of supply, it's actually less than that. So it's but still going to be worth less than black coin, which is worth uh, black coin. Oh, I actually did it on stream before apparently. All right, black coin is like what three sixty nine four hundred yeah four hundred satoshis of Bitcoin after all these years, and that's because they're inflate. Will you get the hell out of my? Um, the inflation is uh, like, what was causing that? Oh, because if only mouse was up there, All right? Uh, it's because you can only make 1.5 black coins every block, All right? and I forgot what their block time is. But the inflation is very low, and we contrast this with say Bitbean, which is called Bean Cash. It used to be called Bitbean. Uh, and it's at two to four satoshis of a Bitcoin, right? It's been very stable. And this is a pretty large supply of 3.7 billion because you can only make 1,000 bit beans at most per block. And I think their block time is like two or three minutes. So this represents the other extreme, and I obviously wanted to stay far away from this. So that's why I've chose 100 coins. The next coin I'm going to make is going to be if this one's successful. And so far, the signs look very good. It's like, uh, like you know, God, I really could, you know, use some help with the stress. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, we can't be taking too many more hits. I mean, I could take a lot of more hits, but it's like, you know, I don't want to get to that point. Right? Because again, I'm older. All right, I, I, I'm not young anymore. So yeah, so if, uh, so you know, if 100 coin can be sold for a thousand satoshis on Crex, yeah, I'm gonna get all my money back very easily, very quickly, uh, assuming I can sell enough. Um, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, put in the funds, start making the second coin. It'll be 25 coins this time. And we'll have at least two. I don't want to make uh, Mitch overly angry, uh, cause eventually he'll probably find out in some form. And, um, yeah, you know, it's just like, well, whatever, you know, I'm a true Christian now as best as I can. So I just got to tell people the truth. So yeah. But, um, but yeah, let's see. So I technically will have four coins, and I don't know why Mitch hasn't come up with a new wallet update for JMC coins. So that's the other thing, too. It's like, like I think he's just deliberately just doesn't want to do a lot of things. It's like, okay, I'm just going to do everything myself. So it's like, okay, I just don't have, like, you know, there's a reason why you want to be a real man. It's like, okay, I just can't deal with this anymore. I just do it myself. Right? You take action. Right. Sadly, a lot of conservatives in America don't do this, and then they wonder why things are, you know, on fire. So anyway, I'm hoping the price should be between. It's always going to have to be between Bean Cash and Black Coin. It should be, right? Because again, the inflation's correct. Uh, all right. So yeah, but yeah, um, it's like uh, it's so frustrating just waiting day after day because of the stupid time zone difference. All right, I just want to get. 100 coin on Crex just to see what's you know what it's up with the in fact has he sent me an email yet yeah it's probably not going to happen until 3 4 a.m my time but i'm going to be asleep so we we'll have to wait till tomorrow uh all right we already looked at that uh looked at that um yeah i already went over the prices here yeah so there, that, that's that i mean we'll still be able to enjoy the stuff from here but again you know the price is going to go back down again so uh all right let's see let's take a look at some stuff okay don't care uh this is for this is yesterday's headlines why is it giving me yesterday's headlines okay uh wall street revealed to be edging up bitcoin shares with one million dollar transactions i might actually want to read this because i want to know what the rich people are doing because someone's buying and uh, buying a lot of crypto uh bitcoin work one billion move okay don't care Japan has no plans to deregulate Bitcoin trading, says, yeah, that makes sense. 
Big Queen Master's on Shaken by Sun. Okay. Okay. All right. So it looks like there's no real news today. Uh, 115k by August of next year. That actually would be pretty nice because I predicted 500,000 for Bitcoin. But that's for the peak. So obviously, the higher the better because ideally, Bitcoin at $1 million would be fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a pretty extreme bull run, especially with all the crap that's been happening here. But I, and again, I don't know who's going to be president. Uh, obviously, I hope it's going to be Trump, right? Bitcoin billionaires to pitch crypto to influential day trader Dave Courtney. Um, okay, so the Winklevoss twins are going to be talking to this guy. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Actually, I kind of maybe do want to read this, actually. I mean, we don't have really much news, so... Bitcoin, dollar, crypto, trade, touch, launch. Okay. I'm so sick and tired here of this DeFi stuff, but you know, it's all the rage for a lot of people. All right. So Trump's still 19%. Uh, Kanye West is still 1%. All right. Yeah, there was a thing yesterday on Twitter last night. Like, oh, Kanye West is being pushed by GOP operative. It's like, all right. It's like yeah, everyone already knew that. Also, maybe he was getting extra votes, right? All the people that, you know, helping him out. Okay, voters be sending in ballot star. Oh, okay, all right. So let's see. Uh, be sending ballot. So I get one month for first. Wait, what? How could voters be sending in ballots starting in some cases one month before the first debate? Move the first debate up. A debate to me is a public service. Oh, by and I owe it to the American people. Yeah, there's not going to be any debates. Uh, this time the left wants to blow up the left to have to set up the system, break the tents, blah, 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 blah. uh, okay, depart, I miss Dave Island, and I rest you into Michael Flynn. Uh, the Yates hearing on Capitol Hill is a disaster for the police, day. Uh, okay, uh, the Yates clearly going for an insanity defense. I, mean, I don't really care about this stuff, because unless someone's going to be charged with something, then I don't really care. Uh, going off the rails, Daily Tyler Cohen went rogue regarding his prosecution of Flynn, two wonderful pe people. Um, okay, yeah, a little late on that. I mean, Twitter and Facebook censored Donald Trump himself, so he's not doing anything about it, which is hilarious because he's like picking on China and TikTok. Like, it just makes you look really weak, man. You know, but I also understand because Trump just doesn't have any. Have any choice? I want to open this in a new window because Letitia J says she had a big announcement. So I assume she's going to. Oh, eleven thirty. Oh, okay. So yeah, I assume they're just going to try to put Trump in jail. Which is just, yeah. I mean, the Democrats are like pulling out all the stops. Um, I guess we could read. I guess we'll read both. Well, she. Oh, yeah. Also, I kind of like this uh, pop under. I'm thinking maybe I could uh, add that to the block explorer, so that, have, so that way I wouldn't have to mess with the uh, with the thing too much. Uh, block explorer, because everything on the block explorer it runs on JavaScript, so it's like, ugh. It's very sensitive too. Like you do a, a, a space or an enter key, like you skip a line and it breaks the whole thing. It's very annoying. Wall Street Review to be edging out Bitcoin shares with one million in transactions. How long is this article? Oh, it's actually kind of long. Wait, what? Yeah, okay. All right, well, we'll have to try to skim it. Bitcoin has been struggling, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right. We don't need a history lesson. Chain analysis is a real institutional investors are also increasingly moving even larger amounts of money into Bitcoin and crypto with the trend only just beginning. Okay, that's very good. Uh, this is why I fucking hate ads. As of June, approximately 90% of North America's crypto transfer volume came from professional sized transfers. Ah, uh, okay. So it's mostly rich people buying, which we categorize as those above 10K worth of crypto. Uh huh. However, over the last two years in NA, we're seeing the impact of a growing class of institutional investors. Uh, okay. Um,. Bitcoin and crypto transfers in North America above 1 million rose from 46% in late 2019 to 57% as of May. Okay, so it's increasing. A nice sizable amount. 
The overall professional market share of professional size Bitcoin crypto transfer uh, rose from 87 to 92%. So it's already pretty high. It's getting higher. In other words, the increasing dominance of North America is pro market scene, <laughs> just like in esports, pro market scene in December 2019 appears to be mostly entirely driven by transfers of blah, blah, blah. Well, yeah, I mean, you've got hundreds of millions of dollars, so. Um, let's see, 100K to 1 million. Yeah, so basically the normies are being retarded, which is consistent with what we've been seeing in the Google Trends data. Meanwhile, despite the likes of multi-billion dollar Bitcoin crypto assets, Grace uh, da, 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 uh, have now arrived in the crypto eye, the trend could just be getting started. Yes, because there's a lot of money out there. Is it too much just beginning? Okay. Are Wall Street's increasing volume in Bitcoin crypto will help crypto mature in terms of greater transparent price stability? We anticipate arbitrage opportunities closing up, better solutions for combined liquidity, which of course means regulations. And that's the end of the article. Okay. Hey, I mean, it was a... It was a really long article just to say that things are going up 5 to 12% by institutional investors. All right. All right. So what are what are the Winklevoss people up to? All right. So Winklevoss twins who founded Gemini have agreed to explain the cost of Bitcoin, a bar stool, sports CEO, and highly influential blog, Dave Portney. Portney tells us 1.7 million followers he has no idea how the crypto king works. Wow. So see, yeah, there's a lot of rich, influential people out there who don't even know anything about Bitcoin. This is fantastic. That means we're just getting started for sure. I don't know how to buy Bitcoin. I don't want to get all, one of those weird things where you need like a passcode that's like, oh, you need Martian Lane 16 hieroglyphics and your aunt's cousin's been. Yeah, I don't do this either. It's very annoying. Porte also says that while he's an early BTC investor, he has no clue how to access his holdings. Wow. I spent 20 grand just sitting in the ether. It's probably like little teenage boys running around with my Bitcoin right now. So that's why I don't want to do Bitcoin because I don't uh, freaking understand it. If you could tell me how to put in Bitcoin a symbol that buy a stock, but I don't understand the wallet and the coin, I don't get it. Yeah, it, it is kind of difficult. Why do you want the Wicked I want them in their little rowing outfits. I want them sitting in this chair to be like, this is how you do it. And of course they're going to do it. The outspoken Bitcoin career appears to be so obvious that I guess the largest crypto. Let's do it. I want to buy all the Bitcoins. Oh, is that where it's coming from? Yeah, so as more people go through the process that likely you and I have already gone through, like, oh, Bitcoin's a stupid idea. At least most of us, that's where I come from. And they're like, oh yeah, it's a good, it's a great idea, right? So this is very good. So the bull run will definitely be pretty large. Obviously, the only question is, can I hit 500K? That's my prediction. Ideally, I want to hit 1, 2 million. And then that's, and then before that, you know, we'll dump all our coins and then just become millionaires, right? And then in the meantime, we just dump whatever profits we make from here because you know the crash is coming. So the best thing to do is just dump everything and keep cash and just buy something else. Uh, especially now with coronavirus and depending on who wins uh, in November, real estate prices are probably going to be like suppressed or kind of cheap. So that's going to be good for me because I need to buy an apartment building, right? Because I can make all the money in the world, but if I don't have stable fundamental assets, per preferably outside of cryptocurrency, I really don't have a sound financial base. But with an apartment building, I should be okay, especially if I, you know, buy in like a not so crazy area. So Tampa, Florida seems pretty good. There's plenty of conservatives there, so they should be able to. You know, actually, let's take a look. Tampa, Florida. Well, let's say lockdown. Let's let's just see what we get for this. New lockdown ratchets up economic pain in Australian city. So this is a Florida website talking about Australia. So that's a good sign because that means there's nothing happening out there. Uh, so here's left-wing Vox trying to spam fake news terrorism, uh, same thing, uh, okay, has had his line lifted by court order, okay, so yeah, people are fighting against the lockdown bullshit, lockdown repose the Scott Hillover virus cluster, yeah, I, yeah, so people in Florida are fighting this shit, all right, it's really just the Democrat-run areas, so. I don't know, hopefully I can get my game out enough, start the process of my show. I'm just going to wait way too late because all the damage is going to already be done, but maybe I can save people. And then we'll be able to uh, fight back against this uh, lockdown evil shit. But uh, overall, 
you know, personal, uh, economics-wise, yeah, you should be fine. Uh, civil liberties and having freedom-wise, well, I mean, that's going to be another, it's going to be a big challenge. If you like what you saw, read, or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel. I still haven't gotten any star gems yet for my soda dungeon. Alright, so I'm honestly done for the week. Um, I mean, I'm not going to do a video when, if, when, I mean, just go to Crex and then just follow the Twitter for uh, 100 coin. That's where I'm, because I run that, I run all this stuff personally, so. Um, and yeah, so 100 coin. Uh, so I'm going to announce it here. I'm actually going to pin it. So as soon as it's there, or just simply go, we'll get the link, or just simply wait on Crex. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I, uh, Mitch has always opposed to just, you know, just me putting in my name on whatever on everything. But at this point, I just can't, I just can't allow people who just don't know any better to just start running things. It's like, okay, I'm going to run everything myself, right? In that regard, I have to be like Donald Trump. I have to run things, I have to run my... Business investments, definitely like a dictatorship. I just full control over everything. Because it's like, all right, I just don't have time to deal with it. Um, so, I don't know. So that's also been on my... Because I don't want to lose Mitch. But on the other hand, if he insists on doing like bad decision-making or blaming me for stuff, I'm just going to be like, okay, fuck this. Right? Especially since I'm paying for a lot of the servers anyway. It's kind of like a trade relationship between uh, America and Germany, because he's also Germany, and like Germany's like, hey, why? Like, what's going on? It's like, yeah, we're not going to subsidize bad decisions, right? So you know, and I'm not going to either. Anyway, I will see you all next Tuesday, and um, yeah, um, what you gonna call it? Yeah, for the most part, I don't see anything uh, you know, too crazy, right? So just look out for cracks. Um, it should be uh, like 3.20 a.m. That seems to be when the guy I'm talking to at Crex is responsible for. It seems to be awake because he lives somewhere in Europe. Uh, so 3.20 a.m. New York City time. So whatever that it translates to. So yeah, but basically tomorrow. Yeah, it's so annoying. Oh God, it's gonna come out during the weekend too, and there's no trade value. It's so frustrating. Uh, but oh well, that's just how it goes. Anyway, see you on Tuesday. Thanks, Johnson Chan, James Coin, four hundred four coin, one hundred coin seem to be the other coin, and um, yeah, we'll just use this as a thumbnail.